Hardship of the Scots by Dark Throne. This song came up on my YouTube feed this morning and I listened to it in the bath and I thought I need to learn that song. So I learned it and now I'm going to teach you. I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. So we're in standard tuning and we've got that first riff. So we're going to play a power chord on the seventh fret of the A, seven, five, seven, and then an open power chord on the bottom string, and we're gonna just chug that out. So. The third time round, we're just gonna play the open bottom string twice. Power chord on five of the A string. Open bottom string twice. And then we're going to play this diminished chord, three of the A, four of the D. And then we're going to make it into a regular power chord. So. So we play that through a few times and then we've got this little harmony. So for the harmony, we're going to come up to 10, 9, 10 of the A string and then down onto the bottom string, open power chord. You can play it on the D string, 5, 4, 5. And then we're going to come in with the first guitar and just play in unison with that. So that's the opening riff. Then we have this riff. So we're playing a second fret power chord on the A string and then at the end of that bar we're going to slide up to the fifth fret of the A. Then we're going to play a first fret power chord on the bottom string. Then open bottom string to the fourth fret and then open bottom string to the third fret. is the riff. Then we're back into the opening riff. Which we've already played. Then we're back into this riff. That we've already played. Then we have this riff. So it's all power chords, all on the bottom two strings. We're going to start off with fret six. Four, up, back up to six. Four, six, nine, and then back to six as soon as the chugging starts. Four, six, open. Then we have this riff. 
So we're going to play an A, uh, an A chord, we're going to play an F chord, and then we're just going to pick the G string six times, and then play the chord. Then we're going to come up to a G chord and do the same thing, so pick the, the G string four to, uh, six times and then play the G chord. Back to the F chord. Back to the G chord. So we're going to pick that G string six times, but then instead of going back to the G chord, we're going to play the A minor chord. So. Then we're back into this riff. already played and then we're back into this riff to finish and the song ends on that A minor chord at the end of that riff as always I hope you enjoyed that lesson I was using a Yamaha Revstar RSP20CR, a Victory Duchess V40 amp, and a Fender Pugilist distortion pedal. Please make sure you give it a like, subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications, and I'll see you later.